Hello everybody, my name is Alan from CyberLab and today I will compare different applications for photos. Exactly, one of my previous videos I show how you can install Photo Prisma, other video I show how you can install image, and another video I show how you can use the Synology Photos. But why not connect all three applications and choose which one is the best? Why I decided to record this video? Because I was reading the comments in my YouTube channel and some people start to ask Alan, which one is better, Image, Photo Prisma or Synology NAS? And this way I decided to make a video to compare both or compare these three systems and then put the positive side, negative side and then you can decide which application will be better for you. So, if you like this idea and want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show you this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed, and let's understand a little bit more about it. As I commented before, my main goal is to understand which photo application will best fit for my needs, or at least best fit for your needs. So in this way, I start to compare for these three options and see which ones that will be better. In order to understand which one that is better, we need to define what I want to achieve with those applications. So in this way, I decided to look a little bit online and I find this GitHub web page. And in this GitHub web page, they give a little bit overview what information that's good and what's the different application that you have. You can see this GitHub page and here, if you come here, they will give a list of a different uh, photo applications for manager libraries and continue on. And here they will have a lot of different classification or different uh, features that is important for different people. In my point of view, one thing that's really important for me is this automatic mobile upload. What it means? It means that you can upload all your pictures directly for your phone to the NAS and in this way you make sure that uh, if you are traveling, if you are anywhere and your phone gets lost, you still be able to recover this data, you still be able to find those pictures and make sure that uh, you can recover the phone or you can buy a new one but you cannot recover those data or those pictures that you took in a specific place. This reason that this option makes a lot of sense. Other thing that's really important for me is this iOS app. Why iOS app? Basically, me and my wife, we have iPhones and those iPhones need to run with those applications. I want to be able to upload those pictures and see what my wife took, what pictures I took, and then be able to share, to be able to see, and to be able to make a little bit more sense about it. Other thing that's really important for me is this geomap or geolocation. It's because sometimes you take a lot of pictures, but to find exactly where you took this picture will take a little bit of time, so it's easy only use zoom in that specific location and see mm, all those pictures was taken that place, so it will be better for me. And in the end, one thing that is important is timeline. Most of the applications have timeline and face detection and face recognition. Why face detection recognition? Because I wanted to select all the pictures that have my face, so this application will help me to do it. So, if I come here, you have a lot of different applications, but before we go to these applications, I will explain why I was looking for those kind of applications. So, in the past, how I used to do, I used to get all my pictures, put everything in my NAS, and that's uh, archive it. The only problem that is really not good to be find it, because what I used to do, I take a picture and put the date that um, I took those pictures and archive it. What's the problem? I, if I want to see those pictures or want to share those pictures and need to go in my NAS, look for that specific folder dates. I don't know where I took exactly. I don't know what location. I don't know who was in that picture. So I need to open all those files. And then after I do it, I can find the pictures, I can move for my phone or I can copy in a flash drive and go for another mobile. And then when I start to use Google Photos, this was sorted, was working really well and Google Photos give in that time the option for me to upload unlimited pictures with reduced resolution but unlimited pictures. And then I was using quite a lot, sharing pictures, have everything in one place until they decide to start to charge it. 
I didn't want to choose spend monthly fee to have my pictures there, considering that I had, had my NAS running in home. And in this way, I was looking for different options of photos. I post a lot of different applications that you could use as image, photo prisma, leech and others, and each one a review to find the best one that worked for me. And then, of course, some of those have the positive side, some of those have the negative side. And if you come here back, you can see that some of those have all those options, some of those have a limited quantity. But let's um, focus exactly the ones that have a uh, more number of GitHub stars. This reason that I go for image with 58,000 uh, stars. And if I move a little bit side, the next one that have quite a lot is 36. So those two applications should do something right. Also, in the same time, I compare my Synology photos. And then you're gonna ask Alan, you don't have this one in the list. Yes, you don't have this one in this list and have a little bit more complication to use Synology photos. This reason will put as a benchmark, let's say a reference, but you need to make sure or have in mind that for you have Synology photos working well, as good as you expect, uh, you must buy a device. And this device limits your application and it's quite expensive. So if I come here in Amazon, at the moment I have the S920 Plus and it's already not available for buy. I need to buy the new version. And this one is around, around 500 pounds, plus high drive, plus extra run memory, plus SSD, and um, everything will cost quite a lot if you think about it. Compare for a server, you can have a, a old computer or a not so old computer for a fraction of this price, make lots of hard drives and they will run exactly the same way and either better, have more powerful system. Why I decided to go for Synology NAS? Because I want to buy a out of box application. I didn't want to stress that time because I was doing a lot of trials. I was tr trying to save money for electricity and that is the reason that I decided to go for this option and this reason that we're going to use as a benchmark. But remember, if you want to choose Synology Fonts, you must buy the device. Otherwise, if you try to run directly on your computer as, um, let's say, not supported hardware, they could have problems. And if you go for not support drive or not support hardware for it, I suggest you use one of those applications in this list. This reason that I will focus those, but I will use Synology Photo as a reference. Also, in my benchmark, I select or upload the same amount of picture. If I come here, I have around 608 pictures, everything with different formats, with different formations, and all those was uploaded my system. Some of those have live video, some of those it's um, just pictures, and also I have um, 360 videos, so we can compare all those different options. So first thing that I'm gonna do, if I come here in my Synology Photos, I can see all my pictures, the time that I take out the pictures. If I come here in this specific picture, let's say this one have live, so if I come here live, they will show a little bit of life that was take. If I look for my pictures, everything is there. If I come here in a recent ads, they will appear places. Yes, they appear the location, but they don't show any map for me. If I come here in target, I can have tags as an image. If I come here in videos, I can see my videos. Other thing that I can set up, I can come here and say face recognition, personal recognition. So they will index it will give all the faces that I have, and if I come here, they will have all the subject. I just select it, so it will take a little bit of time for process it. Okay, I have this application. Also, if I go for this specific application, I can see my 360. So I click here, they will show my 306, let me pause, and here I can see my garden. I'm here doing some trials. Of course, a mess, I was doing some work, so don't look so much on this. And here's the garden. Let's say I can see everything that's going on. Also, to upload pictures, basically only come here and drop the picture here and that they will upload. And if you come here to settings, you can define that the way that you upload, define the folders and continue on. So they will just work. If I come here in my photo prisma, I have a, fim a similar view. I can have my life. If I open here and put play, I can see my live pictures. 
if I go for different pictures, I can see, I can uh, look for the location, all the information for the pictures. I can come here in people and I can see the faces. In this case, I didn't find any face. I can come here in calendar, they will say what month that was there. If I come here in place, this is a really big difference for Photo Prisma because now I have a map. I can see, yeah, this picture was this location. I can zoom here and I was in Portugal. If I go here back here in Brazil and other place, if I, I go to labels, I can define the labels. Let's say fruit, I can pineapple, tower and continue on. So if I come back here, one thing that is limited for this photo prisma, if I open my 360 video, they will not play as I expect. If I come here and put play, I can only see as a flat image. And this one is quite annoying because sometimes I want to see my videos directly my app, not open my computer, open VCN and continue on. So photo prisma have this limitation. Also, all the limitation that I saw it's you cannot just drop the pictures. You need to come here and upload. You need to select where you want to upload and then will allow you to upload. You cannot just upload the pictures. What? It's quite annoying. If you come here, you have a lots of settings, look like general settings, library settings that you can define advanced. You can select the resolution or what's the size of your preview and continue on. Also, in service, you can set up some uh, web dev so we can connect directly for Nextcloud. You can directly connect for other applications to only see it. You can come here in accounts and you can set up different accounts. You can set up connection via web dev. Compare for Synology Photos and Photo Prisma. Photo Prisma have uh, the map that's really good, what I told. You have, uh, you have a lot of uh, different filters that you can set up, but you cannot uh, see 360, what I record quite often, so it's not great. Also, you cannot just drop the pictures there, what you need to select to upload. Of course, not a deal break, but from my point of view, this 360 is something that it make a big difference for me as I start to record more and more 360, and I want to export this as a 360. So now if I come here in image, image, basically it's really similar view for Synology Photos. You can have the pictures, you can come here, you can see the pictures, you can select the pictures, put, and it will be the live. Other thing that you can do is if I come here in my 360 video, I still be able to do exactly the same that I have with my Synology Photos. If I come here and explore, I can see the pictures, the face, all the location that I was. If I come here in map, I can see where I took the pictures exactly the same way that Photo Prisma gave me, not the same way that Synology give. I can share different folders. I can uh, create different albums. Also, what I can do is just drop the pictures. So if I want to upload one picture, I come here, drop the picture, and it will allow me to upload. If I want to select to upload, I can do as well, but if I only want to drop, they will work. Also, you have a lots of admin configuration, can create more users, you can have different jobs, let's say you can define a specific time for jobs, you can do settings, you can connect for external libraries, you can have the status of your pictures, and that's everything in one place. And everything here set up. Synology Photos, so far, Image and Photo Prisma, it's quite common, quite similar, and Synology NAS have a basically the same application. But let's see what it's really important for me, web application. So why I say that's really important, I really want to make sure that when I use my app or when I use my phone, I can upload pictures, I can do everything that I can. So what I'm gonna do, I will come here my screen and that here in my phone screen, you can see these three application. First one will be Mitch, the second one will be Synology Photos and third one will be the Photo Prisma one. So first thing, I will go for Synology Photos. Here in Synology Photos, I have exactly the same view. If I come here in Album, now it will be a little bit different because I can come here in place and now I can see the places that I was and let's say the same view that was. I can zoom a little bit for that location. They will give all the pictures, all the locations. Also with this application, I can basically browse all my pictures, upload it 
and that they just work. I can share pictures with other people and they will do everything for you. Now, if I come for image, I will leave Photo Prism for the last one, we'll have basically the same application. I can see all my pictures, I can come here in library, I can see places exactly the same way that uh, my Synology will give. I can browse, zoom in and see where's the pictures. Of course, a little bit different because you don't see the pictures, but if you click here, they will show for you. You can select it to out upload the pictures. You can browse it and that they will work really similar for my Synology photos and that just work as well. Now, if I go for the application for Photo Prism, this will be a deal break for me because in this application, you cannot set up to see the pictures. In the case that you are using an uh, iPhone, you cannot set up it. The only thing that you can do is to sync and upload the pictures to your server. Another thing that you need to consider is that if you will use Synology Photos, the Quick Connect only allowed you to sync or to have external access. But if you use Image and Photo Prisma, you need to configure your reverse proxy. You can use Cloudflare, you can use other applications, but you need to configure it but allowed you more flexibility. You can have any computer, you can do upload any way that you want, you can have any computer, you can set up anything that you want and it will be more flexible for you. So in my point, if I didn't have bought Synology NAS for other things and other tries that I want to do, I will use Image. Because Image have the map application, you can use 360 videos, you can use the phone app, and they just work. If you use the Cloudflare tool to make a connection, they will work the same way. If you want to use a proxy manager, they will work and will allow you to have access for this application either outside for a house. So in this way, we arrive at the end of the video. What I try to say is that if you have a Synology NAS, use Synology NAS, will work quite well. If you don't have a Synology NAS, don't try to use unsupported hardware to run this application, run the image that work basically the same, either better, and that uh, you can use for backup your data and make sure that everything is centered in one place. So if you like this video and think that was interesting, please don't forget to leave a like, consider subscribe for the channel if you're not subscribed yet, and see you next time. Bye.